Hi all. I'm going to showcase the difference between ClickQ, Tableau and Power BI. So I'm going to create a donut chart in all the three reporting tools. That was the best reporting tools in the market. So let's connect to uh, Tableau like sample superstore data. So let's connect to sample superstore and drag and drop orders table into Tableau. And I do have click you actually loaded this part of data. So let's click OK and uh, go back to Tableau. I just connected to sample superstore data, the same data which I am connecting uh, from click you Tableau and Power BI. So let's load. So you can see there is difference like when you whenever you're going to load the data in Tableau, it looks pretty fast and also in, as well as in click you. Uh, basically, but in Power BI, it's taking a bit uh, some time to load the data. That's okay. So, but I'm going to showcase the difference between all these three reporting tools and how to create donut chart in all the three tools. So, let's right click on Click You first, create a new short sheet object, click on Chart. So, we do have uh, these chart types, click on Pie Chart, click Next. So I'm going to showcase, uh, let's say region wise, click next and sales, click on aggregation sum and select sales. So copy this particular code, sum of sales, click finish. And this is a regular pie chart, okay? Right click on this, go to properties and you have style where you can showcase a donut chart in click you. This is pretty straightforward where you have these properties and you can go back to style and you can you can also display some 3d visualizations as well okay so we have some 3d visualizations so this is the donut chart and let's go back to power bi so you have both pie chart and also the donut chart straight away so let's click on donut chart and i'm going to create the same like region by sales select region and click on sales so that you are going to get donut chart this is pretty straightforward in power bi as well you can convert into pie chart or you can also convert into donut chart and in click you as well you have seen you have to right click and every time go to properties and you need to check the chart type here but in tableau so i want to create a donut chart on top of region by sales but we don't have a direct option to create a donut chart in tableau but what we have to do is initially in the previous versions you have number of records but now you have to go for some custom column one and it's number of records just use the naming convention number of records Click OK. So just drag and drop number of records into rows and use any of the aggregation type, let's say average or minimum or maximum. And I can increase the size a bit and drag and drop, or you can duplicate the same control and drag and drop here. Click on this drop down. You can make use of dual axis, right click, and you can make use of synchronize axis. If you want to bring this particular uh, donut chart somewhere in the middle, you can use some fixed axis, somewhere 0 0.8, something like that. And right click on this axis, you can unselect the header. And this is what this is what the steps, you can see lots of difference between uh, click your Tableau and uh, Power BI, basically the creation of donut chart. Go back to second marks card. I know Tableau is pretty flexible with uh, different visualizations, like uh, different uh, chart types as well. So we have that flexibility. But when it comes to like donut chart, uh, yes, it's not direct. Go back to the first marks card and increase the size of the first marks card so that you can create a donut chart. And in the middle, uh, right, if you want to drag in, if you want to showcase the total sales, you can drag and drop total sales and go back to the first marks card and uh, you can drop region into uh, labels to display the region wise sales information. 
So this is where the difference between Tableau, ClickQ and Power BI, where uh, as you can see in Power BI, we have straight away a donut chart. And you can also see the percentage calculation by default in Power BI. Uh, and you can see in ClickQ, basically like we have this uh, slicer option, whenever you're going to mouse over, you can see the interactivity. So that's the advantage where you can see the differentiation. And even in Power BI, we have, uh, like, let's say if you have some part of data, when you select, uh, it is going to become the same, same functionality, something like a slicer, where let's say I'm going to create another pie chart with category wise sales information. So when you select, what I mean to say is that when you select, it, it will showcase some interactive, like uh, what highlighter, it's something like a highlighter. Okay, that's an advantage in Power BI where whenever you're going to select, it showcases that particular information within the secondary chart. So that's a donut chart we are displaying here. So in Tableau, yes, we have the flexibility, but we have to create some custom columns to display donut chart in Tableau. It's not direct as we have seen in ClickQ and Tableau, sorry, in Power BI. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe for more videos.